Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan Saplin here, Fat Loss Strength Coach, coming to you today with Hip Flexor, the Hip Flexor Challenge Day 5. Uh, I actually have a really good video that I watched. It was by Justin Archer, I believe his name is. He has a really good video about maybe your hip flexors are weak, and I kind of wanted to show you this little exercise I sort of made up or learned. Uh, what you do is you set yourself up in this position here, hold a tall posture, brace your core, and all you're gonna do is you lift your body up, lift your leg up like this without moving this torso. That way you're working on the psoas, this ilia psoas here, doing about 20 reps, or if you want, uh, you can just hold, hold it there for 30 to 60 seconds. And what I found is it actually kind of helps well, how this feels. So I'm starting to actually think that, well, hip flexors are tight, but they're also weak. So I'm wondering if I, because you think about it, right? The hip flexors, I'm wondering if my glute on my left side is so much stronger than my ability to stabilize with my ilia psoas or my hip flexors on the front of my body. So something to think about, just a thought. Kind of got me thinking about the piriformis. Maybe after the seven day hip flexor challenge, we'll do a piriformis challenge. Let me know what you think about that. Because I feel like the, the deep internal, ro external rotators are really, really important to work on. Or maybe internal rotation, we'll see. Uh, but take a look at that video. There'll be a link in the description. I'll be a link you'll see somewhere on, up here in the corner somewhere. Um, don't forget to stretch your calves. Remember, we are doing the couch stretch, right? So then the knee up like this down squeezing this right butt cheek here leaning back and then stretching two minutes aside and of course the calf stretch get your foot up on a wall lean right into it you know lean in put arch in your back a little bit that way you get your hamstring too remember the gastrocnemius uh the the calf actually connects into it crosses the knee joint so it does affect your ability to reach down and touch your toes something to think about Click like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let me know how you're doing. Tell me know if, let me know if you're feeling better. If you're staying on track, I don't know where you're at. Let me know. Thanks for watching. This is Ryan Saplin, Fat Loss Strength Coach, signing out. I'll see you guys all in the next video.